Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Uh, Charles Barkley calls out the Suns for being mentally, before, be, uh, for being weak and soft. Let's take a listen to what Chuck had to say. Suns, are they going to yes. figure it out? No, they're not going to figure it out. What does that mean? Well, they're not. They're not. They're, they're little, they don't have any uh, mental toughness. Uh, the leaders are not leading. Um, so, you know, you're not going to turn it on this late in the season. So, I'm not sure what you're expecting, but their mental toughness, they're weak mentally, and uh, it's not going to go good for them. What do you recommend? How do they fix what well, they're it's doing? It's on them, brother. <laughs> yeah, but from afar, they, they're just really soft, and their leadership is not the players' leadership. The players have not led. What's your take? Oh, man. And it seems to be it seems to be a reoccurring theme on teams that's Kevin Durant's own. We saw this in Brooklyn. Not so much. Look, it was ready. The, uh, we know Golden State, Draymond, Steph, Clay, so forth and so on. But I don't remember. Now, I don't remember hearing anything about leadership when Kevin Durant was uh, in OKC. Now, probably Russ was the leader of the team, and KD was perfectly fine with that. KD won a hoop. KD ain't trying to give him no, 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 no pregame speeches, no midgame speeches, no, no postgame speeches. Kevin Durant come, get his work in, hoop, go do what he does. But why does everybody seem like what what, what to, from a from a guy that played in the league? Outside looking in, maybe you know some things, but what do you think is going on with 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 Phoenix? Because they should be better. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if they ain't got no great elite defenders. They should be better than what they are. I mean, no, we we can say that, but you know, they haven't been healthy all year long, right? They traded. They traded a lot of their team to get Bill, and Bill missed a lot of this season, right? Yeah, they uh, trade a lot of their team to get KD too. So, you know, when you're missing one, you're missing a guy who got rid of three or four people, you're not going to be as good as you're supposed to be. Um, but I don't like the idea of attacking someone's leadership. How do you know who's leading or not? Right? How, you don't know. You don't know what's being said in the locker room. You don't know what is being said in practice. You don't know what because someone doesn't have emotions when you want them to. Having emotions is not necessarily a leader. If Draymond Green wasn't there, would we be saying Steph is not a leader because he don't talk? Right? Denver, is Jokic a leader? He don't talk. He don't do pregame speeches. He don't do none of that. Right? Hell no. Um, Jimmy Butler don't talk. He don't say much, right? So why are we always challenging someone's leadership because they're losing game or, or doesn't look as good as it's supposed to look? Basketball is basketball. Everyone leads in different ways, right? Mm -hmm. I challenge him. Who was, you, who, was, who was, when were you a leader? Let me know what year. Did you lead your team, right? You can't say the first year you got the Suns because that was that was Kevin Johnson's team. You were just a hired gun. It wasn't when you went to Houston. When you was in when you was in Philly the first year, y'all was successful. That was Dr. J and Moses. Wasn't you? Yeah. Right? They was calling you fat boy. You had to get in shape to be on that team. So we can we can from the outside we can always challenge somebody's leadership when they're mm -hmm. when you, we think they're failing, right? Right when we think they're failing, so we don't know who's a, uh, are they working hard? Although has anybody said they don't they don't come to the gym and work out and work and work on their craft? No. Have we talked about man? This has been a bad year for Kevin Durant. No. Mm -hmm. No, we have not. Mm -hmm. He has showed up every single year. Devin Booker has showed up every single year. They've done their part. If somebody's getting hurt or they're getting hurt, we can't, we can't blame leadership on that. They got hurt. But for the most part, when those boys are on that court, they play their asses off. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I mean, people lead in different ways. Um, I was more of a... I think the thing is, is that you have to understand the team that you're trying to lead. 
mm-hmm. or, or you've been entrusted to lead because you can't lead every guy. And it's a lot different than in a football team because you got so many more different guys, so many different, so many more people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, you got guys, you know, tight ends go to one room and running backs go to one room and the wide receivers go to one room and you got DBs and the linebacker and the old line and the line and the quarterback. But I think at the end of the day, for me, my job was to make sure everybody understood the assignment. Everybody was, was, was had bought in. And, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking around is that, you know, okay, is this the reason why you missing assignments because you try to get to the phone? Is this why you're not doing what you're supposed to? Because, you know, Hey, I'm not going to, you know, go tell the coach, Hey coach, he out, he's staying out late. That's why I'm, I'm going to come to you and say, bro. Mm-hmm. Now you do realize Denver is a football town. Yeah. What do you think you can do that Mike's not going to find out about? Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, you coming in here, you smell like you just got out of vat of alcohol. Yeah. Go get your ass in the shower because you reeking. Now mm-hmm. we're going to go sit in this, 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 this meeting room and, and you're going to be smelling like that. Go, bro, come on now. Mm-hmm. You got 20 weeks. All we ask for, give us four months. Can you give us four, five months? Then after that, if you want to go on a three-month bender, take off with it. But I think the thing is you have to, I mean, like I said, I was I was more of a, come on now, this is what we expect. I ain't going to let you sleep in the meeting room. I'm not going to let you do what you do. I see you slacking off at practice. I'm going to, hey, see, I couldn't just like follow my lead. Yeah, follow my lead. Watch the way I eat. Watch the way I practice. Watch the way I do certain things. But, you know, sometimes you have to give guys a little nudge. But then that's but that's OK. That maybe that's not what KD is. And you can't make somebody something that they're not. But how do we know that? See, we, that's what I'm saying. We all he see is the games. All we see is the games. Everybody does it. Everybody's not Draymond Green when the camera's on. Right. 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 Some people, some leaders, their brands is kind of big where they can't go out there and cuss somebody out. Right. When Jordan wanted to cuss somebody out, what did he do? Yeah. But I think the thing is on the court, now I'm saying, I'm saying in the locker room at practice, shoot around where y'all in, the, you know, do y'all call team meetings? Say, I call, I call, I would call a meeting, you know, but, not many because at, at, at some point in time, it starts to fall on deaf ears, Gil. So I needed to be, I needed to be like a a, a crisis situation before you like, okay, we need to have a discussion about what's really going on. How do how do we know that? We don't know. That's what I'm saying. We don't know how many meetings they have. We don't know who's hanging out. We don't know if they have a film session at KD's house or Booker's house. We don't know. All we're doing is just making up what we want to make up just because they're not winning. Oh, they solve it. Everybody solved the whole team solved it. Gil. This is it, what we know. They're soft. Who's I don't see nobody bullying them. Ain't, ain't nobody ain't, ain't nobody ever been able to keep anything a secret. That now, you see that videotape, that videotape got out of Draymond sock that kid and I, didn't it? Yeah, now it was that a lead. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's a lead. Oh, no, hell no. Nah. Nah, lead, lead to lead, lead to a ass whipping. But that's what I'm saying. We can challenge everybody's leadership if we want to. Everybody yeah. leads different. Cool. There's Hey then, Gil. This is what I know. Let me, let, Gil, let me, let me be real with you, Gil. All the way live, and, and Chad, I think y'all agree. If we like you, we'll like your leadership style. <laughs> if we don't, we won't. Yeah. Because I don't give a damn how many championships you won. You're not going to punch me to get me to do my job. Now my job, I got a different job. My job was to block and catch passes. Now my job is to whip your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new job. So I got three jobs now. Now I got to work overtime. Foul play. No, 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 no. Look, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> you know, I get it. Um, and I wasn't you, like I said, I had to, you know, wait my turn. You know, you come in, I was a seventh round draft pick. I just buy the I buy my time. And then as I started to get more and more and more plays, I understood that, you know, you know, coaches were like, hey, more is expected of me as far as you know, being talkative, uh, you know, my play warrant that I could say some things that probably Early in my career, I couldn't say, but I, I don't believe it. I don't believe in that 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 punching people to get people to do that. I I, I, don't, I don't get you know people like well he, it, if you think Michael punching Steve Kerr in his eye was the reason Steve knocked that shot down, you out your damn mind. Listen, I can tell you this: 
you punch me, you ain't getting the ball. I ain't even right there. I ain't even talk. Hey, y'all can hit. Hey, you can do whatever you want to do. You hit me, you're not getting the ball. Only way you get the ball is by the court. I will not. I don't give a shit what he called. You're right. not getting the ball from me, and I proved those points plenty of times. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, like you said, there, there are different ways to lead and you have to understand who you're trying to talk to because everybody, you can't talk to everybody the same way. Some mm-hmm. guys you can be stern with, some guys you can be facetious with, some guys you be like, damn, bro, my my grandma could have caught that one. Yeah, yeah. They, they, like, that, damn, son, you out here like a blind dog in a meat house. You know, you're saying things and you're like, well, bro, what what, what you do last night? So, you know, you you you, you try to you try to lead guys in a way that they understand that because I'm trying to get a guy to do more than he thought he could. Mm-hmm. That's at the end of the day. That's, that's really what I'm trying to do. I am. Look, I ain't trying to look. I'm not your pastor. I'm not your guidance counselor. I'm not your site. I'm just trying to get you to do more than you think you can. And, and whatever ways I need to do that without, you know, I'm not going to belittle you. I'm not going to mofo you because at the end of the day, we all men. Mm-hmm. Don't lose sight of that now. Yeah. Now, don't ever, don't ever, ever lose sight of that. You might have more tenure than me. You might make more money than me. But guess how I walked in here? As a 22-year-old man. Mm-hmm. Guess how I'm going to walk out of here? As a 30-year-old man. Now, if I have to take an ass cutting, or you have to take an ass cutting, to see, it is what it is. But I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be respectful of you. I want you to be respectful of me because at the end of the day, it's all about respect. That's what it's about, Gil. It, it, it really is. is. But in the NBA, it, it's 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 power, right? And the star player has the power. And, you know, uh, sometimes if the star player is not the leader, the leader don't have no power, he's going to have to shut up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Again, you know what I mean? Depending on who you are, depending on how mentally weak your star player is, you being the leader of that team, you leading everybody but him. <laughs> right? That's yeah. what happens in locker rooms, right? Like, 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 like even with, 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 with someone like Kevin, your leadership is depicted on the personalities in this locker room. If the personalities in this locker room is soft and you a rah-rah guy, you 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 don't want to be the black dot in the white room, right? Because they looking at you like lunch meat. It's more of them. It's more. It's more of them, right? And you you the person that stands out. They want you out. So sometimes you got to bite your tongue. Um, Pat Bev, he can't be Pat Bev every team he go to. He maybe just one guy. He get to be Pat Bev with one guy. For the most part, he has to pick and choose who he gets to bring that energy to. Yeah, right. Right. You know, so, you know, the, 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 the NBA locker room is not like football, right? We might be tight as hell. You missed me or missed the shot. And I said something that you didn't like that right there broke the friendship. But I want you off this team. Damn. It's me. The man, and they, it's me. The me or him. Nah, hell no. Nah. I mean, that- we understand, you know, we understand guys go drop a pass, especially in a crucial situation. Um, my thing is that I always look, let's not put ourselves in a situation where a missed call or a, a, a call that goes against us or a drop or this doesn't cost us a game. So if we keep ourselves out of those situations, we'll be fine. We put out, you know, the thing that Mike used to always tell us, we put ourselves in this situation. Mm-hmm. We should have put this game away long, long ago. But I think the thing is, is that for me, like when I got to Baltimore, I understood the assignment. I understood why I was there because Ozzy and, and, and they really felt that they had a team that could contend, but they just needed, you know, somebody on the offensive side that had success, that was vocal. That team was already was very vocal. They hadn't mm-hmm. won anything, but they were prime. And I think the thing is, uh, Ray and Rod were already there. I knew Ray, I knew Rod a little bit. Because he he came in the league in 87. I came in in 90. We had made a couple of Pro Bowls together. So I kind of knew him a little bit. 
I didn't really know Ray, even though we had made a, a, a Pro Bowl together. But I think the thing is, is that our friendship, because, Gil, yeah, I mean, we went we went five weeks. We didn't score a touchdown. Right. And so it could have easily split at the seams. Mm-hmm. But I just remember having a conversation with, with Ray and uh, uh, with, with Shug and uh, uh, Woody. I was like, guess what? The best thing about football, they don't take they don't take units to the Super Bowl. They mm-hmm. take teams. And unless we get better on our side of the ball, which we will. And so it we stayed together because that could have pulled us apart. I yeah. mean, they they holding people to 10 points and we losing the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, bro. And then once we got it going and, you know, they're like, Shay, if y'all give us 10 points early, it's over. I said, man, bro, we're in the playoff. These are the best team. They say, Shay, give us 10 early. It was curtains, <laughs> but you have to, you do. I mean, but you have to pick and choose how mm-hmm. you lead people because everybody doesn't receive what you're giving the same way. Yeah. we Some people t- tune your ass out or some people uh, might lo- want to lump your ass up. No, our, our trick, our trick is be- because everything is moving so fast that we spend a lot of time with each other off the court. Yeah, okay. Like we're making sure we go to movies, dinners, um, like New Year's. Somebody, I, like I hosted New Year's party at the uh, at my house. Right. Uh, when we go on the road, like we're going to all be planning uh, each other's rooms, right? We made sure. So we had the friendship so tight off the floor. Whatever like happened on the court, we let it go there. Right. right? Okay. Man, yeah. Class, man, I ain't giving you nothing today. Like you ain't got it. Right. Like you just a mama's boy. It didn't, it didn't affect like that real time trash talking. You have right. somebody trying to talk to you and you know, you get to going, right? That didn't affect us, right? So it, it was very, it's very important for NBA players to have a real friendship off yeah. the court because in real time, in real time, we, we're on edge all day. Right. In games, right? Saying stuff to this person. This person says something. We going here. I missed three free throws or something. Is you tell me, come on, dude. Wait, come on. What you mean, come on? <laughs> you you just got in the game, right? It'd it be it'd be it, you know the tension so high that um that we don't lose respect for each other uh during during those heated those heated battles. 